Guess who's back? on and the stakes are high. Need for Speed High Stakes is a semi-arcade racing game that's developed and published by EA and released for the PlayStation 1 in March 1909 for both Europe and North America. This will be the fourth installment for the series. The game is a player entering high stake races where the player must forfeit their vehicles in a race for slips where the loser must hand over them keys. The game features several modes of play such as hot pursuit, tournament and special event and a total of 10 different tracks and locations such as USA, Germany, Australia and many more. The game received positive reviews with 84 from Game Rankings and 86 from Metacritic and 8.7 from GameSpot. Let's check it out. Games main menu is of one player, game options and trophy room. Let's check out the one player. We got single race, hot pursuit, tournament and special events. We'll just check out the single race. We'll go solo. Gonna pick our track. We'll go Durham Road, Australia. Got yourself the car garage. Now I did play this a little bit beforehand, so got a bit of a head start. Ended up with the BMW Z3 Roadster. We can upgrade it, we can trade it in, or we can race it. We'll just race it. Now let's begin. Alright, change your views. There we go. Now I must say these controls are pretty damn good. Like, this game comes off as an arcade game, but it's more realistic to be honest. You got your timer in the left hand corner, your map in the right hand corner, speed up the top there, which I must say visually looks pretty damn good as well. We're only at fourth gear. Let's pop this thing out. Now surprisingly the draw distance in this game renders alright. Like you get the occasional pop in from the tree, the sign, but Pretty solid. Oh, I got a habit of doing that, hitting the horn. Hit the circle button, hit the e-brake, which I don't recommend doing. It can be deadly. Oh, as you can see. This is a great game, to be honest. Now, like I said earlier, you got a big variety of tracks and races, 10 different locations to race at. Pretty good variety. Oh, man. Whilst the colours aren't the brightest and they don't really pop, they're still visually appealing. Not bad. Alright, let's check out another race mode. We'll check out Hot Pursuit. Go duel. Alright, Beamer versus Beamer. Alright, we got coppers. Now just keep in mind, the frame rate will drop a bit when you get coppers on screen. 
it's just the play section, families. Here we go. Now, I didn't play this exact game when I was a kid, but I remember playing some version. I think it was Hot Pursuit, the actual game. These kind of games were the bomb back in the day. Oh, oh, what? He just got smashed. We're losing now. We'll catch up, don't worry. Oh, roadblock. Whoa! Oh, we got fallen! Uh. Now, I think this guy's already kicked their ass, but we'll keep racing anyway. This is still fun. Sound effects, they sound pretty damn good to be honest. Oh, are we get a spike strip. Oh, we're gonna get fined again, I think. Move, come on, go. We're definitely creeping all over the road here. Yeah, I know, mates. Come on. Oh, another roadblock. Oh! This is hectic, man. Now, for all yours out there, I don't know if you noticed, but they're VT Cop Sports, I'm pretty sure. So, up the commies, yeah. Oh! Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Oh. oh, we got arrested. It's all over. We'll check out one more mode. We'll check out tournament. All right, we're racing in Germany. Burn out. Off we go. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the adventure mode. You can gain tracks, gain different cars. This is a great mode, this one. We're flying. Oh! Remember to use the brake. There we go. Now, I'm not 100% sure how many cars are actually in the game. I think there's maybe like 15 or so, maybe. But you got yourself a big variety. You got BMWs, Lamborghinis, um, Commodores, Falcons. Big selection. And we'll catch up to the Lamborghini. Come on, boy. Come here. Oh, it's not even a Lamborghini. It's like it's Mercedes. SLR. Sorry, I'm near blind. Oh, hold it, this! Definitely get your hands on this game. The one thing I like about this, it's fair. Like, the AI isn't too hard. The controls are pretty on point, so you really can't go wrong with this game, to be honest. Definitely check it out. Oh, smash him up the ass. I don't mind a bit of bumper bashing, don't worry, man. Come here. Oh, 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 here he goes.
Burning Out 3 Takedown is an arcade racing game that's developed by Criterion Games and published by EA. The game is released for the Xbox and PlayStation 2 on the 8th of September 2004 for North America and the 10th for Europe and Australia. This will be the third installment for the series. The game emphasizes reckless and fast paced racing where the aim is to ram your opponents off the road, pulling stunts and maneuvers in order to gain boost and win the race. Featuring around 20 tracks and circuits, 44 licensed songs, 67 vehicles, several modes of play such as Road Rage, World Tour, Single Race, Split Screen and Co-op. The game sold extremely well with many publications considering it to be one of, if not the best arcade racing game ever made. And in 2015, IGN listed the game as the 12th best game since the year 2000. Let's check it out. Games, man, man, you get yourself Burnout 3 World, Single Event, Multiplayer, Online and Driver Details. We'll check out the World Tour. Start of the USA. Silver Lake. Get a pick out car. Get your stats down in the right hand corner there. Top speed, weight. We'll just go this car here. Alright, let's begin. Now there's several ways to gain boost. You can tailgate. You can ram them off the road, which is shunting. You can duel them. You can go past cars really fast. Game boost times your boost. This is a decent game. You see, you got a bit of air then. Oh, there we go. Got a takedown. Use that boost, which visually looks pretty good, eh? This game uses the Renderware engine, which it's a pretty generic engine when you think about it. But back in the day, that engine was used for just about every single game you can think of. Oh. Yeah, man, this is one fun racing game. To first place, nice. Oh. More boost. We're topping this thing out, 160 miles. Now all the cars in this game are very similar to the GTA scheme. What they do is they get a car and they'll basically copy it, but they won't get the rights for it and that. Which is still fine, honestly. All the cars that are in this game represent the real cars absolutely beautifully. I mean, the car we're driving now looks to be a Honda Civic, obviously. Another takedown. Oh! If you're really good at this game, you can just honestly keep getting boost and just hold it the whole way. Oh. This is one game I used to play a lot of back in the day. Me and my brother sitting in our room playing this. So much fun. Come on. Beautiful. We'll do another race. We'll go downtown. You're on Crash FM with me, Striker, and if you're in the, the road rage. Today, you are in for an awesome event. I said you're going to need to hunt them down. Survival of the fittest applies here. Alright, so we're going to hunt down the pack. Take them all out. Oh. Now don't be afraid to just ram into a mate, like that's half the fun of this game. Get rewarded for driving like a maniac. I love it. This guy's nudging me. 
asshole. Oh! You can control your car as well when you get totaled, inflicting more damage. Pretty cool feature. Big nudge fest. Holy crap! Oh! You got one. One thing this game does right is rewards you. Every single time you pass a race, unlock rewards, new cars. It keeps the player coming back. We'll check out Face Off. Alright, we beat this guy, we take his car in his hands. Oh. Now to be honest, I thought Need for Speed Underground had a dope soundtrack, but this has to take the win. You got yourself 40 something tracks on here, all licensed, so I mean, big variety of music on here. And it's all dope ass. Controls in this game, slightly arcade-ish, but work beautifully, honestly. I've got full control of this bad boy, man. The pressure is on. If it looks like I'm sweating, well I am, because it's like 40 odd degrees tonight. Oh! Big drift! This music gets you so pumped up. Yeah, a lot of advertisement in this game, which I don't like, but it's there. As you can see, Underground 2 right there, yeah. It's okay, I guess. Oh, come on! Yes! Smashing. <laughs> Got ourselves a new car and two events unlocked. We'll check out one more mode. We'll check out the crash event. Way too many people are driving through Silver Lake. Huh? All right, in this mode, you're gonna cause as much carnage, mayhem to the traffic ahead. And let me just tell you now, this is what burnout's all about. Get yourself a nice cinematic with the action. You get yourself a crash breaker, which explodes your cars. This is a great mode. Got ourselves a gold medal, not bad. Alright, looks like we're in a Mustang looking thing. Sounds pretty boss. Love the crash breaker, honestly, that's what makes this game so much fun. If you can get those gas tankers there, they just go up in flames. So many bosses!
Alright, I'll go one more time. Now, if you're going to check out the Burnout series, to be honest, I highly recommend checking out the predecessor, Burnout 2, Point of Impact. That game is honestly a great game. Definitely check out this game. This is one awesome game. Fantastic. In conclusion, Burnout 3 is a welcome wonder to the series. Enhancing with more vehicles, tracks, music, championships for gameplay that's just absolute carnage and mayhem. Fantastic looking graphics, textures, car models, and the attention to detail is just amazing. The game, in my opinion, is one of the best racing games out there. And sure enough, they received a sequel, Burnout Revenge, which received critical acclaim and success. I give Burnout 3 Takedown a high 8 out of 10. Tune in next time as we have a look at Colin McRae Rally, Star Wars Pod Racer, and Midnight Club Dub Edition. As always, I'm the Pizza Man, and I'm out of here. Let's go!